Hello kids, welcome to maths class. Today the topic of our learning is measurement and objective of our today's learning is to know what is measurement and what are the different units of measurement. Now children, first of all we will learn what is measurement. Measurement is finding a number that shows the size or amount of something. I hope you know what do you mean by measurement. Now, three main things we measure are length. That means we have to find how long or a short an object is. Second is weight. That means how heavy or light an object is. And third is capacity. That means how much a container can hold. It is mostly used for liquids. Now let's begin with the measurement of length. Now children, I hope you know that sometimes we, we measure various things with our finger, with our hand span, with our cubit, with our pace as shown in the given figure. Now children, these are the non-standard units of measurement. Now, all these units are non-standard units of length because thickness of fingers varies from person to person. It changes. Different people have different hand spans, cubit and paces according to their heights. Now, if we use non-standard units of to measure length, we will get different answers as it varies. So, in order to get the same answer every time, we use standard units to measure length. Now children, standard units were made so that we can get the accurate answers when we measure different things. Now, first of all, we will learn what is the biggest unit of length. Now children, biggest unit of length is kilometer. And why it is biggest? Because it is used to measure the things or the objects which are very long. For example, the distance between two cities, road, railway track, which have no end, which you cannot see. So, kilometer is the biggest unit. Now, standard unit is meter. That means it cannot be measured with the hand span, with cubit or paces and it is not that much lengthy that you cannot see its end, like a piece of cloth, sari. So, meter is the standard unit of length. Third one is the smaller unit of length. It is not the smallest one, but it is the most commonly used the unit of length. That is centimeter. Your pencil, your scale, book, all are measured in centimeters. Fourth is the smallest unit of length, that is millimeter. That means which you can measure by holding in fingers only. For example, eraser, sharpener, a blunt pencil, these kind of things. Very small. Now, let's take some examples. Road, book, sari, eraser, distance between two places. Now, children... I have given you the five examples, five things for which you have to write that in which unit we will measure these following things. So, first is road. Road is very lengthy. We cannot see its end. So, kilometers. Road is measured in kilometers. You must have seen that when you go to some place, there are landmarks where the distance of various places is written in kilometers. Now next is book. Book comes in centimeters children. Why? Because you can measure it with scale and with your hand span only. So it is the smaller unit. Next is sari. Children, sari is measured in meters. Why? Because it cannot be measured in centimeters as it cannot be measured with a scale and it is not as lengthy as a road. So, it is measured in meters because it we can hold it and it is not very much lengthy and not very much short. Next is eraser. 
Now eraser is a thing that you can hold it in a hand in fingers only. It is very small. You can keep it in pocket also. So it is the smallest thing. So to measure it we will use the smallest unit of length that is millimeters. Next is distance between two places. As I have told you earlier that when you are going from one place to another there are landmarks, there are the milestones where the distance is written in kilometers. So distance between two places is measured in kilometers. Now moving on next exercise you have to tell any two things we measure in kilometers, any two things we measure in meters. You have to give two two examples of each. First is kilometers. As I have told you road. Road is very lengthy. You don't know its starting point. You don't know its ending point. So it has no end. That means it is measured in kilometers. One more is railway track. Children, railway track means where the trains move. It does not have any starting or ending point. So it is also measured in kilometers. Now two things measured in meters. First is sari. Children, as I have told you, a big piece of cloth that cannot be measured in by a scale and that is not very much long as a road. So, it will be measured in meters. Second is turban. Why turban? You must have seen your fathers tying a turban. It is very long but it is not that much long that you cannot hold it. So, turban is also a piece of cloth. A big piece of cloth so we will measure it in meters. Next is tell any two things we measure in centimeters and tell any two things that we measure in millimeters. Now centimeter is the smaller unit and the most commonly used. So what are the things which you see commonly? Scale. Correct. Children you all use scale in your daily routine and you can see that there are the numbers which are given and along with it centimeter that is small c and small m is written. So our first example can be scale s c a l e. Now what should be next? Copy or a pencil we can write either. Copy why? Because it can also be measured by scale and pencil also. It is same the height of scale. Now we will learn two things we measure in millimeters. Eraser. Children, remember all these things are those which you see and use in your daily life. Eraser, you hold it in fingers. Very small, even the smallest. So, it will be measured in millimeters. And one more is sharpener. This is one more thing that you use daily. Sharpener. It is same the height of eraser only and you can also measure it in millimeters now children let us see the copy approach ok children now first of all take a new page of your copy write down date and homework like suppose date is 18th August 2020 and this side you will write homework ok now what we have to write as we are going to start with length in the top row you will write length L capital L E N G T H now leave one line and we will write biggest unit now as we are going to write the measuring units of length, first of all we will write biggest unit B I double G E S T biggest unit and what is that? Put is equal to that is kilometers K I L O M E T R E kilometer and what is the short form it's capital K and small m ok now leave one line 
Now we will write standard unit. S T A N D A R D standard unit. Put is equal to and what is the standard unit? Meter. M E T R E and we write it as small m. Now what is the smaller unit? Which is smaller means which is smaller than standard and most commonly used smaller unit and that is centimeters. So we will write C E N T I M E T R E centimeters and what do we write small c in small m for that now which is the smallest unit sabse choti s m a double l e s t smallest unit which is that millimeters m i double l i m e T R E millimeter and short form for that is M M and both will be small. Children, that is all for the copy approach. Like this, you have to start with the measurement of length. We will write the units only. Now, children, I want you to keep practicing the sums given in your snap homework. Till then, stay safe, stay happy. Thank you.